I'm Josh Lipton, and I ate half of banana for breakfast. Today, I'm still on the topic of vlogging. And today I want to talk about being unscripted. What happens when someone doesn't know what they're going to say? So, for me, an interesting aspect of vlogging is both talking when I'm prepared to talk, talking from top of, top of mind and having a clear kind of progression of thoughts and then trying to work through thoughts, trying to still pick things that are top of mind but not necessarily having a pl clear progression and filming myself working through those thoughts. So that's kind of happening today. I've, I've got a topic about being unscripted and I'm not really that... It's, all my vlogging will be unscripted, but today's topic I've really not thought about at all. I'm, I've, I've kind of got the break, basic premise. I've had a few thoughts. I can glance up at my notes here, but really it's um, I'm shooting from the hip. And I think there's something interesting about experimenting with this. I, I think that most people that are good in public, good, good at public speaking, good at public presentation, they have an agenda, a set agenda. They kind of, they go in prepared, they go in knowing what they're going to say. And I think that's... A huge component of what makes someone good at public speaking is they don't fumble, they know what they, they're clear in their mind what they want to do and say. And, but there's also something interesting about exploring thoughts in public, about working through ideas and trying to find, I guess I'm trying to discover a happy medium in blogging of both having some conscious pre precognizant planning to what I'm going to talk about, but also having this ad lib aspect where I can just go for it and spill my guts and say what I need to say in a clear, concise way. I think I'm a long way from pulling that off, and that's a lot of what I'm experimenting with. That's a lot of what I'm trying to figure out here is is how to do that and I think the greatest public speakers are ones who kind of, who can combine that kind of that planned out thought but also that natural shoot from the hip aspect so I'm trying to develop both and right now I'm specifically trying to develop the shoot from the hip capability um, another thing related to this that I have been thinking about a little bit is the interesting aspect of vlogging, which I think is going to be have the impact of turning my psyche inside out a little bit. I think it's going to make me dig and, and reveal thoughts and ideas that I wouldn't normally reveal. Um, it's just a natural thing. I'm, I'm speaking to myself. I'm speaking to you, the public. And I need to come up with something to say. And it's going to pull, pull my, my inside out. It's going to make me reveal myself in new ways. It's going to make me make funny faces. It's going to make me like, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do, but... One of the things that I think is helpful to this process is figuring out how to keep things light, figuring out how to be silly in front of the camera. I don't know. Um, perhaps that's contrived. Perhaps silliness should just come naturally. For me, silliness is something that's, it's almost being silly is. A thing into itself. I, I feel like I'm can be silly 
just for the exercise of being silly. Now I don't feel like being silly. I've, I've, I've killed it. Um, let me think here. This unscripted thing is tough. I, I dove in. I talked about being unscripted. And then that's it. What else is there to say? And I think that's a problem I, I'm going to have with vlogging is, is if I'm unscripted, what's a, if I don't have a top of mind topic, that's going to be difficult for me. It's going to be tough. Um, so what do I do? My psyche has to unravel. Ah, I have to turn my, turn my brain inside out, turn my face inside out into the camera. Ah, yeah, this is, this is, um, this is awkward. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm experimenting with, being awkward. Ah, uh, sorry. It's interesting. It's like, um, I've been thinking about how you can say funny things to yourself, to your friends, you can make funny faces into the, the camera, but I mean, sorry, into the mirror, but doing it into a camera to the world, it's daunting. Who's going to see this? Is some someone going to think, see this and think I'm crazy? And if someone does see this and think I'm crazy, who cares? What, right? Well, if they, if I really am crazy, I guess that's, that's uh, important. But if someone thinks I'm crazy and it's not really valid or they're just they're just judgmental, they're probably going to judge me and lots of other people no matter what. But there's always that kind of hesitation, that fear of how do people look at you. Um, that's actually something that's inspired me recently. Um, I'm active in my e-commerce forum e-commerce fuel forum and uh a tim ferris episode i don't remember which one but he was interviewing someone else i think who's an active podcaster and they were talking about um an important mindset for both of these for both tim and his guest were not caring about not caring too much about what people think and uh i think it's important to think about not it's not that you don't well, they, they, they qualify that you do care about what people think that are close to you. Your close family, your friends. Those people, you always want to care what they think. But the public, the looser, you know, the other people that you have looser associations with, spending a lot of time caring what they think about you is not, uh, is not a good practice. It's not a good, it's, it's not healthy. And it's not that you, um, it doesn't, mm, I guess when I say you don't care what they think, what it is is that you don't um, worry about it. And But what you do worry about is what you think of yourself. So rather than worrying about what other people that are not close to you think of you, worry about what you think of yourself. Worry about what matters to you as a person, how you care about being in the world. But don't let your, don't imagine what other people think and then lay that, put that an added layer over yourself. Don't put an added layer of, of worry. Um, all of us have plenty of, of structure of worry of how to live built into us from, from life. And that, that's, that's plenty to constrain most people, maybe not everyone, but live within those constraints, but don't add another layer of constraint about um, what, how to be in the world. So, um, yeah, so I think um, that that brings together this, uh, this unscriptedness, this, this attempt for me to not worry too much, to feel comfortable experimenting, to feel comfortable trying my best to just speak my mind, being confident in who I am and that 
if I want to be a little bit crazy, it's crazy, it's funny, maybe silly, but it's within the constraint of my personal sensibility. I'm not, I'm trying not to be constrained by my imagined sensibility of the world. I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied that my personal sensibility will keep me on track and I can have a little bit of fun and looseness within that. Maybe it's not that fun and loose, I don't know. You can judge me on, you can tell me if I'm funny or not, I don't care. I, uh, I think I'm funny enough, but more, what's more important to me is, is getting my ideas out. Kind of, and, and right now, as I've talked about, about experimenting with speaking my ideas to the public. So, I think with that, I will wrap things up. Um, again, I'm Josh Lipton. Um, this has been day five of my vlog. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.